Hey, how's it going? Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video that I made for you. Um, this video is going to give you a real understanding of your business online. Uh, can new prospects in Sacramento, when they're looking for a drywall contractor or, uh, or metal stud framing or anything of that nature, can they find you? Okay. Um, so that's probably going to show you. <clears throat> So, as you can see, we're on my business website. My company is Amp Local. We do internet marketing. Um, so, what we really do here, it's, it's not just about, you know, marketing your business online and, uh, you know, doing SEO. It's really what it call, boils down to, brass tacks, is increasing sales, increasing revenue, okay? Uh, pushing so many people to your website to spend money with you versus your competitors, okay? That's what we want to do here. We're increasing your um, web presence that's going to do that, okay? So we offer, you know, the FC, SEO services, and I'm going to talk about, we also do web design, um, Google AdWord management, lead generation, just to name a few, okay? Um, but please check out the website, amplocal.com. I don't want to get into all that. Um, I just wanted to show you the website real quick. Let me just jump into the video. Um, as you can see, we're on your website, okay, our six interiors. 82% um, of the population... Um, when they need a service or a product, they're going to use Google, okay? It's the most popular and powerful way to extract information. Whether you need a drywall contractor like yourself or your carpet's cleaned or a construction worker or uh, you need to rent a limousine for a wedding uh, or find the, the, the best local uh, uh, club or diner to go out or, or a restaurant, okay? Anything. It doesn't matter. 82%, that's what they do. They go to Google and they, and they search for it. They'll type in carpet cleaning, Sacramento, or, uh, you know, limousine San Diego, wherever they're at. Um, so to find you, naturally, uh, the most common and high traffic word for the work that you do is drywall contractor, okay? Um, and your address is in North Highlands, which is in Sacramento, okay? So Google is very smart. When someone's in your in the area searching, they are going to pull up the most relevant businesses in the area. They're not always going to type in, you know, North Highlands or Sacramento or San Francisco, wherever they're at. Um, they'll type in simply, I'm looking for a drywall contractor. You know, that's it, or mental framing or something like that. Um, so for drywall contractors in North Highlands, which is a very specific search, um, I couldn't find you. I searched the first 10 pages. Um, if you're not on page one, you might as well be on page 20. 91% of the clicks come from page one, okay? Um, so one of your top competitors is this guy right here. Do it and now drywall and capital city drywall, these two. Uh, this is your maps listings. This so shows the local businesses, and this is your organic listings, okay? Now, our main objective here is to get you in these top searches right here, all right? Because this is literally 35%, um, and this is 35%, you know? So you can corner... 70% of the market. Let me show you what I'm looking at. Number one gets 35% of the clicks. Number two is 18%. So if you're number one maps and number one organics, that's about 70% 70, 70 of the market just for this one search. All right. So keyword. Uh, in Sacramento, a drywall contractor gets around 3,000 clicks per month or 3,000 searches per month. What it really boils down to is how much of the pie are you taking, okay? So let me show you how much you're taking. Right now, you're getting zero of that pie, zero clicks per month um, to your website from these uh, organic searches, okay? Um, let me show you real quick. So this is how, this is what your clicks to your website look like over a two-year span, okay? You're getting about one click per month. One person finds you, so, all right? So that's very low, obviously, right? We definitely want to drive more traffic. We want to have these in, in the tens and, and get even into the hundreds, okay? Um, so how do we get you there? How do we drive more people to your website to, in, to increase your, your uh, local um, uh, exposure and increase your sales? Let's talk about that. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is authoritative content. So when someone, when I go to your website, this is what Google's looking at, okay? Let's pretend I'm Google. I want to see... 1,000 to 2,000 words on the home page that's relevant to the topic, all right? Are we mentioning drywall? Are we mentioning uh, contractors? Are we mentioning the city of uh, Sacramento? Um, you know, are we mentioning dry, uh, metal studs? They have to be mentioned multiple, multiple times. They have to be highlighted. They have to be in bold. They have to be underlined in italics, mentioned multiple times with a lot of information. Google wants to know that you're educating the new prospect that landed on your web page, not just um, 
a web page just to have a web page, okay? Um, so Google's algorithm has gotten very complex. There's 200 determined factors. Four, I'm going to talk to you about only the four of the very most important ones, and this is one of them. Um, so authoritative content. Let me show you what that kind of looks like, okay? Let me give you an example. I went to Google, typed in elephant. Look what's number one, Wikipedia. Let's click on that. Wikipedia is notorious for popping up number one. Why? Because authoritative content. Look at the information on this page. Endless, endless, endless information about elephants, their habitat, evolution, what they eat, where they come from, where they live. 50,000 plus words, just to give you an idea. Okay, we only need about 1,000. Okay, also the page description, which is, you know, hidden uh, in the page that has to be named correctly as well. Next. Okay, citations. We also call these business listings. These are super important. This is how we get our business listed on the internet. Um, some examples: Google, which is the huge one we're talking about right now. Yahoo, Facebook, Bing, Yellow Pages, White Pages, and Yelp. Okay, you um, have a 74% error rate. All right, so that's pretty bad. The, this is the list of the top 50 in the country. We want to be. You want to be listed in all of these. Okay, guarantee you prospects are looking for you in these Bing and Yelp. You got to be in Bing and Yelp. When you do them, you have to have your business name, address, phone number uh, identical because if not, Google's going to penalize you. So it looks like you have a different address listed in White Pages and MapQuest. Um, and then your biggest problem is you're not listed in enough of them. You know, you, we got to get you listed in all of these things. Um, definitely get you, the first thing we got to do is get you Google verified so you can pop up in the map listings. Okay, that's priority. That, so like I said, this is the top 50, but there's thousands. We're going to get you listed in hundreds over time. Next, I want to talk to you about backlinks. We also call these influence pages. Say, say if you have a client thoroughly impressed, you know, with, with the new work that you just did or you provided for them, which I'm sure happens all the time. I know you provide a, a great service. Um, but they say they have a, a, a blog or they have a website where they write articles online. What happens is they'll actually mention you online. So anyone reading that article can now click on the, on the link and go directly to your website. Now you have a new prospect, but most importantly, Google sees it as a, as a vote. Google is a popularity contest, okay? Um, uh, the more votes you have, it, it's like running for president. The more votes you have, the more likely you're going to win the presidency, right? So you got to have these backlinks. So at your web page right now, all you have a bunch of zeros, okay? Let me show you, if you did have some numbers, what it would look like. Um, so referencing domains, this means how many websites are online right now mentioning uh, your website here, backlinks. This is how many times your website's mentioned, okay? Right now, it's zero. And the trust flow is the quality of these domains, okay? This is the number we mainly want to concern with. Okay, over time, we want to have this number up in the in the hundreds, both of these in the hundreds, but this one is super important. This is the quality of the links, all right? So right now, you're not even meet low quality. You're right here, okay? We want to get you where your competitors, competitors are, are at, high quality, okay? All of our, we have unlimited amounts of backlinks to link to, okay? They're all 25 plus um, on the trust flow meter, okay? So this really gets, this really, really boosts your um, opportunity in getting top of the organic searches when people search for a drywall contractor or any of the related keyword terms that we will find out through keyword research and through my Google Keyword Planner and reverse engineering your uh, competitors, okay? That's how we do it. All right, so that's backlinks. Let me move on. The last thing I want to talk to you about is being mobile friendly. All right, so um, 60 to 80 percent of the population, when they need a service, they're actually going to use their iPhone or Android. All right, so they're going to go to into the phone and they're going to type in the service into Google. All right, so you have to look good on on the mobile device. That's where the future of internet marketing is going. Google is taking it very serious. They just updated their algorithm and they're penalizing business owners that ha that don't have mobile friendly websites so you have to be mobile friendly okay so your website is not mobile friendly the text is too small you know I pulled it up on my site you know from a prospect's point of view a consumer's point of view I don't know what you're selling so I'm gonna click off your website and go to your competitor that's just the raw nature of it all right so we have to get you a new mobile friendly web design okay um, if, if this is going to be successful and if you're going to grow your business and expand your sales, okay, this is something that we definitely need to take serious. Alrighty, so that pretty much sums up my analysis. Um, again, thank you for the time uh, you took to watch this. I hope this makes sense for you and your business. Um, I'm really looking forward to hearing your feedback. I would love to uh, get you a new mobile-friendly website. 
um, get you the SEO services and drive more business to your site and obviously to increase your sales. Um, so in the email you have my contact information. You can visit my website at amplocal.com. You can contact me there. Um, you can give me some of your information there. You have more information here. So uh, please reach out to me. I'd love to uh, help you out. Again, thank you for your time and you have a nice day.